Okay, so this is one of the my favorite things that Trig does, and I have a video on YouTube of it, but um, I want to do another one. So watch those bushes right there. Guys, do you want cheats? Wait! <laughs> Wait, why did you stop running? Wait, that doesn't make for a good video. What, why, are you, why are you mowing? Goating. Well, that's not going to work. He usually runs full speed to the door. <laughs> but usually I'm not standing there with a video camera. Um, I'm walking towards the door. So he, he is very sensitive to anything I do differently. Um, very, maybe we should say suspicious of anything I do differently. Hi, baby. You've been out here a long time. I know, sweetheart. He has been out here, um, I don't know, for like an hour or two. Gosh, you were doing it. You were hunting chipmunks? You find any chipmunks today? Gosh, we're going to make a good video. And then you just said, oh, heck no. You got to find another kitty for that. I don't make your videos all the time. I don't do what you do, what you say for me to do on command. Bye. Well, while he's out here, I'll share something new. So I have some chipmunks that live in my yard um, or beyond my yard. And I used to have a chain link fence here. And Trig and Charlie um, have been going outside in my fenced in backyard for like five years. And um, about, what was it, Tuesday? I couldn't find Trig anywhere, and I started freaking out a little bit, because um, I'm always out here with them, but I, you know, they have their little routines, and I got a little too comfortable thinking that he was back in those bushes that I started with this video with. Wow, that was a horrible sentence, but, and, um, I came around, and on the other side of this fence are, um, our hostas but this fence was a chain link fence and he figured out how to get beyond it and I thought he had scaled it because it was only like four feet tall sorry babe you had a bug on you um but then and he was just in the hostas trying to catch a chipmunk it was like he didn't even realize he had found freedom um but as you can imagine I freaked out and then um like I said, I wasn't sure if he had scaled it or what. So the next day we came out here and I wanted to see what he would do with the chain link fence. And he um, just went right under as if he was going under a bush. And I said, well, we can't have that. So I um, got on Craigslist and found someone to build us a, a wooden fence and that's what we did. So now Chiggy can't go chasing chipmunks beyond the um, the chain link fence anymore. It's interesting that that's been there for five years and he's never discovered it um, but I think the chipmunk um, was enough motivation to do something about it so I definitely raised my conscious level of it and it you know so many people either criticize me for letting my cats out or ask me if they should let their cats out it is a personal decision and there are dangers involved in it and, um, you know, as with anything, I think you have to weigh the good versus the bad. And in my opinion, the good of letting them outside um, outweighs the bad. When I was in college, I lived with a cat who was allowed outside, and um, I saw the benefits of her joy and enthusiasm for being outside. And I was raised with a mom who was very, very, um, a very big believer in letting kids go outside to get energy out, to get fresh air. Um, 
And I also believe to connect with the Earth's energy by being barefoot and connecting with the ground and stuff like that. We actually re reviewed a product called Earthing that um, talks about the benefits of the Earth's energy and how it's important for all animals and humans to connect with the Earth's energy. And we are so far from that these days than our ancestors were because of all the technology and, and whatnot. So um, I'll include a link below to our review of the earthing stuff um, <laughs> so you can check it out. But And then maybe I can do another video another day of Chiggy when I go, Chiggy, you want cheats? Or go seeing cheats? <laughs> He's like, okay, just open the door and we'll do it. Okay, super. Can you get it? Open it. Go get it. Charlie's going to freaking open it before you do. I do this too, like have them <laughs> figure out how to get inside. Charlie's trying to open it. I mean, Charlie's going to be successful. <laughs> Charlie's trying to pull it open with his paw, but I think the... <laughs> Yay, let's go get cheats. 